Right now, five people are dead after several shootings over the weekend. This afternoon, we're learning more about those victims. Yeah, we know the five homicides happened over a span of just 48 hours. And now, some community leaders are asking all of us to step up and speak out. This is not a new call for action or justice. We need people to talk. If you know something, it is our top story. First at four. Good afternoon. We're so glad you're with us. I'm Fanchon Stinger. And I'm Zach Myers. Beer Shell and Daniel are off this afternoon. Fox 59 Jesse Wells shows us how the most recent shootings put our city on the doorstep of a grim milestone. The deadly shooting here at this KFC marked the 198th homicide of the year in Indianapolis. At the same time, community leaders continued to look for ways to try and stop the violence. In this neighborhood on Kinnear Avenue, 41 year old Solomon Keats was found shot to death inside a car on Friday. The same afternoon, 36-year-old Jesse Leonard was shot and killed by IMPD officers on Eugene Street. Later that night, a deadly stabbing claimed the life of 51-year-old Chandra Rhodes at an apartment complex on Cavalier Court. On Saturday, 32-year-old Keegan Wolf was shot to death at a hotel on Lafayette. Finally on Sunday, 25-year-old James Jones II was killed at a KFC on Meridian. Our city is becoming a battleground for disaster. In fact, the 198 homicides investigated by IMPD this year is significantly higher than the 171 deaths at the same time last year. It's also a dramatic spike over the previous few years. We're going to have to start speaking up. We have to get these criminals out off the street, get the guns out of their hands. I'm a firm believer we need complete criminal justice reform. Reverend Green with the Concerned Clergy points out that police often can't make arrests without the public's help, but the public will only speak up if they trust the court system to hold the killers accountable, and he believes right now that trust simply doesn't exist. If that fuels, why should I step forward and take the risk in my own life or the lives of the people around me? If I don't believe in the system as a whole, we need all the players at the table. According to IMPD, last year the city finished with a record 245 homicides, and the city is on pace to break that record this year. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. All right, Jesse.